Hello, uh, this is Tate Williams. Uh, I'll be showing off my final project, which I decided to do a um, interactive shiny app that displays spray charts for any player in the 2022 MLB season. And so uh, some questions that I was trying to answer. Um, first one's um, just how to scrape an entire MLB season data. Um, and then also um, how to accurately calculate the spray chart, um, how to display it accurately, um, how to link the batter ID with the baseball savant data, and then finally uh, creating an interactive, uh, interactive spray chart um, for different hit types for baseball or for ball and play outcomes, and then also for um, looking at an interactive slider for exit velocity of a given player. And so to begin, we have our packages, Tidyverse, Baseball R, um, Sporty R, which is uh, a new one that I found, ggplot2, and Shiny. Um, so Baseball R is basically just to scrape all this data. Um, there's a lot of data going on. Um, as you can see, we have all of April's data, all of May's, June, July, August, September, and the three days in October. Um, and so in order to do that, you have to use Baseball R. Um, I do three days at a time, uh, began on April 7th of 2022, um, and then after I grab all of April's data, I binded it into um, one variable, um, and then I did the same thing for May, June, July, August, September, and October I put together into September, and then I assigned them all to the regular season 2022, I binded all of those months together and we got the regular season 2022 and then I reassigned it to uh, my pitches. Um, in order to make this look really good um, I found this interesting uh, chart on Sporty R um, which has a certain uh, baseball field plot that uh, I can f that I can use and I'll show that in a second. Um, and so order, in order to do that, we have to make a couple new variables, um, one being location X, one being location Y. Um, and these basically are making sure that home plate is the origin um, and that its units are converted into feet. And so uh, the HCX and the HCY come from the Savant data, baseball Savant data. So using that, um, we can change that to make the home plate uh, as the origin. And then the 2.5 multiplying at um, pretty much gets it um, accurately converted to feet. And then I reassign that to my pitches. I also created a result column um, in the data. And so basically um, there's a column called events, um, but it has a lot of different outcomes for plays. And so I wanted to kind of narrow it down to just outs, errors, single, double, triple, and home run. And so using all of that, um, I reassigned it using a case win uh, statement and was able to reassign all of that. Um, if it was not included in all of these, so sack bunts and then any ball that was not put in play um, would return an, an NA. And so I decided to filter out all of those so that um, it just includes all the pitches that have a ball and play outcome that I'm looking for. And then I reassigned both of those to my pitches. Um, then I decided to link um, the batter ID with the master ID CSV that we were given. Um, using the exact same equation, I was able to change it using uh, batter, grouping by batter, um, and able to uh, supply the MLB name. Um, basically, it is arranged from alphabetically using the first name. Um, so I use those same equations in order to get a possible batters list, which is arranged alphabetically. And then going back to that sporty R package that we had, um, this equation right here, GM baseball, um, using the league as MLB, will create a baseball field plot. And this is not necessary to assign to a function, um, but I decided to just for, um, just for myself, 
Um, they also, you can make it a Little League baseball field if you want. They've also got different functions. They have GM basketball to do a basketball court, GM football, GM soccer. Uh, lots of different options here. But we're doing baseball. And then we have the interface code. Uh, this right here, we have the title panel. And then uh, for this first visualization, I decided to uh, make that spray chart um, showing the outs, the errors, singles, doubles, triples, homers for any selected player. Um, here are the choices using the checkbox group um, and then using a, a selected batter underneath it. And right now the selected batter is Shohei Otani. This is his batter ID. And then we have the main panel showing that spray chart. And then down here in the server code, you can see um, that I created a selected batter reactive so that I can choose um, what batter I'd like to see. Um, input select batter, which I initially put up there. And um, this output code right here will display the plot that I'm looking for, which is that spray chart. Um, B and by BIP is what I decided to call the checkbox or check checkbox group input. Um, result is that new variable that I made. Um, I reassigned that after filtering to look for those into select selected hit results. Um, I decided to reassign those variables that I mentioned for location X and location Y so that it is definitely going to work and it is scaled. And then we have the baseball field plot plus the geom point, which is a scatter plot using that selected hit results data. Um, we're using the location X and location Y, and then it's uh, colored by result. So that is that first visualization code. Um, the second one, I decided to do pretty much the exact same thing. The only difference is instead of looking for outcomes, we're looking for the different types of hits. So ground balls, fly balls, line drives, and pop-ups. Um, all of this was in a column called uh, BB type. And so we have all of this listed um, using the checkbox group input once again, main panel. And then the output code is basically um, identical. The only difference is uh, changing that BB type as um, filtering it into that. Um, types is what I called uh, the checkbox group input. And um, then I also decided to include the shape as well by BB type as well. And then lastly, uh, the last visualization is the exit velocity histogram. Um, I could make this max a little bit larger, but I feel like um, for batters who don't get a lot of at-bats, um, it skews their data um, quite a lot, and it's not as interesting to look at, and so I kept it as a low 120 for the bins. Um, and so this is very similar to uh, what we did in uh, that first lab. And so here's that histogram. Uh, server code. Um, I decided to make the selected batter reactive just reassigned into exit velocity. Um, this is not necessary. You can just put this where the exit velocity is right here as the data. Um, I just chose not to um, put that there. Using launch speed, that is the column title as the X, and then I changed the color by result. Uh, this is not necessary, but I just thought it'd be interesting to look at. And then we have the histogram, GM histogram. Um, we have the input. Bins is what I called the uh, slider input. And then we have the rest, the title, and the labels. And so this looks a little bit like this. So we have our first spray chart, which is the ball and play outcomes. Uh, this first batter, Shohei Otani. You can look at all of ball and plays. You can choose uh, a different batter if you want. Uh, let's look at Paul Goldschmidt. Um, and if we want to look at just his hits, we can filter out all his outs, all his reach on errors. No triples, not a very fast man. Um, but so we can see lots of 
of data points here. The only problem with the Sporty R package for baseball is it cuts off the center field just a little bit. So if there are any balls hit past this uh, graphic, it does not show. Um, and there's also no fence, but that is because no MLB field dim or dimensions are the same. So I like that they include that. But as you can see, all the home runs are in green, doubles are in orange, singles are in blue. If you want to look at um, his types of hits, uh, let's take out pop-ups, ground balls. Let's look at line drives. Spreads out pretty well. Um, actually has pretty good sizable amount to opposite field, so that's really good on him. Um, he did win the NL MVP in 2022. And then uh, lastly, we have this exit velocity histogram, uh, which you can see... Uh, he is a very good player. His exit velocity is best. His most was over 100 miles an hour off the bat, which is really solid. And you can see the different colors based on the result. Um, I just find that really interesting. You can choose it so it's a little more accurate for his data, um, but you can also just make it um, just like this as well. And so this is what I decided to look at. Um, I've also got the uh, the same uh, thing in an R Markdown file, um, and I also found found this thing right here. So if y'all, I'll include this when I put this in my uh, demonstration. But uh, this right here is a an extra package, the shiny baseball package that I found online. Um, that has only the 2019 batting data, but it it's pretty interesting. You can look at one player. You can also look at two at the same time based on their spray charts. And it only includes the different types of hits, so line drives, fly balls. Um, but it's still really interesting to look at. And I kind of based off what I was doing uh, using this. And the only problem with this whole thing is the amount of data. Um, it is just so much and it takes so long to load probably t at least 20 minutes um, to load in all of this data, unfortunately. So if you do want to try this out, um, if you if you don't want to have all of this data, you can just do one month, just kind of get an idea. Um, however, if you are interested, the whole data is there. Um, but this is my, this is my project. I hope you all enjoy. I really enjoy this class. And I look forward to looking at y'all's. Goodbye.